Welcome again to my kitchen, and today we're going to make a salad, and a salad that is fast and quick. And you're going to be wondering, Jose, why I am in Longer Tables podcast for you to show me how to make a salad. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. So anyway, you're here already listening to me, so hey, just keep going. We, we're going to make a salad that is simple, but it's amazing, because we're going to make kind of a dressing that is hot. And because it's hot, it's going to kind of, in a way, change the salad itself. So you're going to use any lettuce you have. It has to be better a crunchy lettuce. Like, I love romaine, but I don't have romaine. I love beep, but I don't have beep lettuce right now. I like endives, but I don't have endives either. And what I have is this kind of thing called radicchio. Uh, this not so as the traditional radicchio that you know, that is super reddish purple, but this one is very greenish, whitish, with the touches of purple, whatever you find. But then, because this radicchio itself is not really crunchy like romaine, the issue is that if I separate the leaves one by one, a um, little bit crunchy, but not as romaine crunchy. So what you're gonna do is cut it in half, and then cut it almost like in segments. You can hear as I cut the crunchiness, but what I'm doing is really keeping it kind of whole, like in quarters. Not too big, not too small, but in between. And you're gonna put them right on the plate, like this. And now, as I'm doing this, I have my pan next to me, and because I have the pan next to me already is heating up, because I told you I'm doing this dressing that is hot, you're gonna see how simple, how unbelievable, and how playful it can be, because this is a salad that you can be doing building blocks as you find more and more of the ingredients you would like to play with it. So here we have the salad, and now what I have is garlic, because nothing is more amazing to me than garlic, especially, you know, if you are going for a date, maybe don't do it, but if you're not going for a date, it's the perfect, it's the perfect dressing. And if you are going for a date and you want to make sure that that person is the right person in your life, so do it. So if the person complains that, yeah, you are too garlicky, if it starts complaining in your first date, just put that person away immediately. So this is the perfect salad for all these type of things, I'm telling you. So now, you are right here, you have the garlic, you're gonna cut a whole bunch of slices. How many slices? two, three, four garlic cloves, maybe five, whatever you want. Again, yeah, more garlic you put in your life. Yeah, easier you make the decision if the person you went out on a date after you made this salad is the right person. You get what I mean? Garlic equals choosing right. So now we got this, this piece of cake. In this moment, I have around me olive oil, vinegar, pimenton that people call paprika. And this is a salad that you will find in the south of Spain, in the city of Cordoba. An amazing salad that is only exactly what you are about to see. But because today I feel like let's open Spain to the world, and Cordoba is in the south of Spain, in the heart of Andalusia, and there we have such a big influence of uh, Arab cooking. We're going to be using this sumac that I bought in one of my last trips to Jordan. I love sumac, and we're going to put this kind of a Spain meets Jordan, bringing history and civilizations together in a simple salad. So I got good olive oil, I got the pan, not too hot, because if not, it's gonna burn. You don't want the oil burning too much. And I'm gonna be putting right now the garlic. Can you hear? So this is very important. In this moment, you're gonna see what's happening. The garlic is like moving, it's dancing. That's a good moment. Because when the garlic is dancing, that's happiness. That's the right amount of heat. Dancing, you see, you see? This is dancing garlic. Yeah, we can call this a dancing salad, why not? And take a look what's happening. The garlic is lightly, it's getting brown. You see the aromas? This is unbelievable. As the garlic is doing this, and you never lose track of the garlic because it burns very quickly, you're gonna put vinegar on top of the salad. Put be, be generous on the vinegar, okay? We need to help the economy, and especially the people make the vinegar. So be generous, you see? Enough used to cover the top, don't worry. 
in this moment, you can see that the garlic is kind of brown. That the garlic is kind of brown. In this moment, because you don't want the garlic to burn, what you do, you add very quickly more oil out of the fire. In this moment, what you're doing is you are almost stopping the cooking, and in this moment, you're gonna put this vinaigrette right on top. It still is kind of warm, but you are making sure that the garlic doesn't burn. In this moment, my friends, you got all this hot oil with the garlic on top. This is beautiful. In this moment, you can do two things. You add a little bit of salt right on top of each quarter slice of the radicchio I have in front of me. And this is the moment you're gonna get some of the pimenton with the help of a very little kind of colander sheath. You're gonna make sure that if almost like it was snowing, beautiful snow of red pimenton above the salad. And because we wanted an extra touch that will move away from Spain, bringing walls together. So we're gonna sprinkle some of this sumac right here, right now. Maybe one more touch of the olive oil used to break away the pimenton. And ladies and gentlemen, is not better salad to make it different, to feel like you are cooking salad. Here we have this amazing radicchio with this garlic vinaigrette with cherry vinegar and sumac. I am Jose Andres and I'm gonna eat this salad. <laughs> this is good. Oh my God, this has to be good. Mm. 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 I am such a good cook. I mean, it's true. There's nothing I can do. I think I'm right now the best cook in the room. Yeah, I'm the only one.